Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. We've been talking a lot about metal in logs the past couple of days because we've been cutting walnut with metal in it. But what actually happens when you hit metal with your saw blade? Today, we're going to be talking all about that. Let's get into the video. Saw blades are not meant to cut through metal, although if it's a small enough piece, it will. And so usually when it's just a nail or something like that, we'll manage to actually make the rest of the cut with the blade that hit metal. Although usually what ends up happening is you start um, hearing well you hear it definitely and i'll show you a clip of actually us hitting metal and you can hear it on the clip wait for that but i also want to show you guys the blades some of the blades and what they look like after um, we've hit metal with them but we managed to cut through make the rest of the cut and it's definitely full of chatter marks and you definitely have to slow down it's kind of nerve-wracking if you're gonna ask me but um, <laughs> It's a lot better, honestly, than stopping the mill and pulling it out. It's better to just make the rest of the cut. But let's go over here and I'll show you what some of these damaged saw blades look like. This is a good example of what you'll normally see happen to a blade after it's hit metal. It usually just takes off the tip of all of the teeth and so unfortunately this does mean that it's not resharpenable. It just messes it up too much to repair. Um, my grandfather has tried in the past, but it turns out that blade sharpening is an exact science. So it's not quite that easy. So that means that this baby is unfortunately trash, but take a close look. It's good for an example. You'll just see that all of the tips of all of the teeth are missing. Usually that comes to a fine point. So this will not cut through a log. All of them are missing. This blade, on the other hand, I wanted to show you guys, and I was kind of pleased that I was able to dig it out of the pile of trash blades. This happened a couple of days ago when we hit a giant piece of metal, or maybe there were multiple pieces. But I don't usually see this happen to saw blades, so I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, these teeth are completely bent in. Uh, take a closer look here you can see just how crazy that is and there's actually it's missing whole teeth right there missing about four of them definitely trash <laughs> yeah anyways i don't usually see this happen this is quite an extreme example and just absolutely insane honestly um, yeah, so that's what can happen. You, ha you have to be careful, but like I said, I don't normally see this, so um, usually it's not that big of a deal. This is the clip where we hit the metal. Listen carefully and you can hear it. We actually hit two nails. Did you hear both of them? Let us know down in the comment section. Does hitting metal in a log damage your machine at all? 
Well, the answer is it definitely could if you let it. So for us, what we do is, of course, the solution to everything for me is always just to listen to the machine, right? But usually, like I already stated, I like to finish the cut if I can. Um, if, say, I hit a piece of metal in the center of a cut, I want to make my cut, finish making my cut instead of going back through with a good blade. So can I continue to push through the log with those teeth? It can, like I said, be a little nerve wracking. Um, and, and sometimes what it'll do is you can smell the wood being burnt because of all the friction. Um, one thing that I think is helpful is to use more water for your lubricant to cool down that blade because it does get really hot when you hit metal. So I usually switch my lube system to constant. We usually run the mill on a pulse. So turn it on constant so there's that constant flow of water cooling it down and you go really slow and it usually doesn't sound that great but um, it doesn't really damage the machine at all you're just doing damage on that blade which if you're going to throw it away already why not another thing that i've seen happen is after hitting a piece of metal the blade instead of staying on a level cut dives down into the into the wood more and that's kind of freaky you have to stop immediately and pull out the blade because the machine's definitely not meant to do that and that's what i mean when you just say you have to listen to it know what it's saying to you can it finish the cut can it not if it does that and dives down into it that's not good sometimes it'll go up too and in that case it usually just goes right out of the cut or out of the log but um, yeah it's kind of freaky because it ends up really twerking on the uh, blade guide um, yeah you can screw stuff up <laughs> if you let that happen but like I said, take it easy, go slow, and it's usually not an issue. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you back here next week for more videos.